Someone backstage told me, because I was trying to get, get my notes together, that uh, that you have a certain trauma when you look in the mirror, and that sounded really weird to me. Why? You're, oh, you're a big lady. Why have trauma? Oh, my goodness. You know, there are stories that you should tell at parties, mm -hmm. and then there are stories that you should tell on national television. Right. <laughs> I'm not sure if this is one of them. Just pretend it's a party with folks watching. Okay. Okay. My mother's going to be horrified. I'm sorry, Mom. Not as bad you as Hal so Sparks' mom. And, oh, no, that's true. He's so funny. Yeah. Okay. I, 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 I woke up a few days ago, looked in the mirror, washing, washing my double take. Oh, my God. There's a clear, about a quarter of an inch long, right. growing out the tip of my nose. <laughs> Literally, like, just so... <laughs> how long has it been there? And, you know, it's been swaying in the breeze. So people have mentioned it. So folks have let you go by with this Apparently, hand. I have no idea. I, I don't know how long it's been there, but immediately you get the tweezers. I mean, that's right. your first thought. So I, I tweeze it. It's gone. Don't tell anybody. <laughs> I'm not exaggerating, and I didn't make this up. A couple of weeks later, I noticed that thing was growing out my leg. <laughs> it's literally growing out the side of my leg now, and I'm afraid to tweeze it, because God knows where it'll come back. Yeah. Yeah, that, you, you don't want that in the wrong place. So you just let it, you know, just get get some jelly and just like... Yeah, I do. Just, just, like just keep, it, keep it tight. Keep it close. And... Yeah, but you want to be proud of that hair, like curl it and make it like one big jerry curl. Just, just yeah. like spray it on yeah, your legs. Yeah, put a little bead on it. Yeah, yeah you know. Yeah, you know. No, 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 no it's do horrifying. That. I can't well, believe I shared it. that with you. Well, because we're close now. You, you... We are close now. That's yeah, sure. because... Because I hope that no one else in your <laughs> private life knows about that, that here in the story. Now, I loved you on The Pretender, I was telling you. Really Thank dug you. the show. Um, the, she was, yeah, she was a little wild. She was a little, little bad girl. But before you started doing that, you were a ballet dancer. I was for many years. Well, how long did you train before you decided to make the transition in? Well, I started, when I, was, I started when I was very little. And I left home at 15 and, and joined a ballet company and then grew to be... I'm 5'10 barefoot, so I'm 6'3 on point, which is the biggest ballerina you've ever seen. Yeah. <laughs> I'm Sasquatch in a tutu. It's, it's frightening. <laughs> well, not quite Sasquatch. No, I'm, I'm huge. I, mean, I, I honestly was, was getting a little tired of that look of fear in my partner's eyes as I was preparing to run towards them for a, for a leap. <laughs> there was actually many a time in part of the class that I would actually do, forget it. I'll be the guy. And I would partner a lot of the ballerinas just because I'm so tall. And you'd lift the girls? Well, we could, well, yeah, dips more so than actual lifts. But, yeah, you know, and, and, and pirouettes. And Sesk watching a tutu. There's another image yeah, in my head. Yeah, with the now. hair, I know. With the hair. You were just a lady. <laughs> <laughs> You're a sexy lady. I'm so classy. Yeah. Oh. Um, uh, did you have any typical uh, struggling actor jobs when you moved out here to try to make it? I was a bartender for many years. Oh, whereabouts? I, uh, at the King King here in Los Angeles, in Hollywood. Live music every night. A lot of blues, a um, lot of, you know, very talented and famous musicians. And, w and then me in hot shorts and fishnets and motorcycle boots. And the hair coming out your ear. And a hair... <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, no, you wanted the really tough, tough bar... I could bar split it and then I could girls. It. You know, like in the... Is I tough? Jacket, because... In a lot of the clubs yes. out here, you know, you see them in the, in, in the jackets and jeans because they don't want to be, be really bothered by the guys because they're attractive well, ladies. Well, there's such a different level of respect, you know, when, mm -hmm. you're, when you're serving the actual drinks. You know, it's different than being, you know, that bar creates a little more, you know, act. You are Don't mess with the bartender or you don't drink. Absolutely. Absolutely. Uh, That's a good rule. Uh, Note to self. Yeah, but if you're, you know, if you're pleasant, there usually isn't a problem. Now, I also hear that you love to meet your fans. I do. Uh, you know, I, I don't get recognized a lot, but occasionally, you know, someone has... Yesterday, I'm having lunch with my mom and my cousin and, and a girlfriend, and uh, a woman came up to the table. Well, I love to eat, first of all. I love to eat. Nothing wrong with that. And I was finished with my first round, taking a break, getting ready for the second. 
And my mom says, to me, Andrew, if you got a little, got a little something in your teeth, don't worry. My cousin goes to get the mirror out. Not, I'm not, I'm not finished yet. I'm going for the second round, so I'll deal with it later. And as I'm in the middle of my second round, a really nice woman taps me on the shoulder and had some really lovely things to say. And I'm the, my most gracious self. And smile. I'm not kidding you. When she left, I turned and looked at. The people that I was sitting with, they were horrified, handed me the mirror. I'm not exaggerating, beans and spinach. Like, I couldn't... Oh. I'm, really, I'm really classy here today with you, Wayne. Thanks. Man, well, these are the stories that they dredged up on you. <laughs> Man, that smile was like the buffet at the Rio Hotel yeah. in Vegas. You just had yeah. everything. Yeah. Well, well, I still still think that you're a beautiful and classy lady, and you do a great job. Job a less less than perfect. You guys having fun? So much fun. We have such a good time on and off the set. Well, it's a great cast. I'm really great, lucky. Great cast. Very fortunate. Well, I look forward to seeing you on the show, and you got to come back and tell me some more personal hygiene <laughs> stories, and we'll have a great time. Thank you. Let's well, go the air Tuesdays, 9:30, ABC. The very classy Andrea Parker. She's awesome. We'll be right back. Oh, my God.